I am not a mechanic. So in today's job, we're going to look at this homemade induction kit um, and just see whether I can improve that in any way, shape or form. Uh, I'm not a scientist, um, but even I can note there is not a lot of space here. Um, so I'm going to be trying to fit a new part which may or may not work and may mean I have to bend the induction kit further back into the bay, uh, which should be all right because I've got cold air feed coming up from. So this will look completely different to a standard SR uh, air filter box and housing. Uh, basically these silicon pipes just clip on, take out the uh, MAF plug and then uh, I can just remove the whole lot. So what I need to do is caliperize this here. So I get my caliper tools out and I need to measure that distance there using the caliperization device. And it is 68, so just below 70 millimeters. So K and N and N and N charge 382 pounds for something which does uh, this, uh, 30 pounds. From the ram air shop and about um 20 pounds 25 pounds from ebay this was about three pounds and i've just trimmed it down and put some uh, window edging on it using the caliperization device we can see that the other end of the toyota math filter housing is substantially larger at 87 millimeters so the best thing I can do is actually replace this whole part with a 70 millimeter part which has the math boss built in. Now I'm also not in any rush because I've got the GTI there so I can still get to work. So I can take my time over this, I can put the old parts back on if I need to use this car and just uh, take my time in getting this design a bit better than last time. So now the business end of the 2ZR FE, we can consider the options. I'm fortunate in that I've got a battery relocate so I can do something to tidy up these wires. I've got some space down here and I could actually tuck the air filter in down there via this route behind the headlamp. So I'm now going to measure and design some alternatives. So parts wise, there's a number of parts you can get. This is a silicon 70 mil, 45 degree uh, bend pipe. So I can put that on there and either have my air filter going back here, British touring car style, and open up these parts here to allow air to flow in uh, that way. Or I can have it going down here so I'm just going to measure this space and see what's the best routing. Now there are advantages and disadvantages of these locations. The advantage of keeping the air filter inside the engine bay is it protects it from water spraying up. The disadvantage is you've got quite a lot of heat coming off the engine. The advantage of it mounting the air filter down here behind the bumper is that you've got lots of nice cold air. The disadvantage is uh, water spray uh, getting into it. So the issue I've got with going into the engine bay is that it quickly starts to take up all the available room. The other option is to go up, across and then down behind the headlight um, and again that very quickly starts to take up all the available room. So I will be having to cut down this part here a bit further um, just to give me some more space and that will actually give me the couplers that I need. So the first thing that you realise uh, when doing the plans is that actually there's not a lot of space in the engine bay. So I've cut down the 45 degree uh, pipe. The best way I find to do this is to put uh, another 70 mil piece into the end to give you some stability and then use a um, hose clip or a clamp to give you a cutting edge for the Stanley knife. So here we go, a range of options has opened up. PCV pipe needs to go to PCV outlet. This is a new part. 
can then use a coupler to a new math sensor tube and then take it down behind the headlight I'll have to move some wires out of the way down behind the bumper the other option is to take a 90 degree u-bend in silicon have the math sensor here and the filter here and then I'll just tidy this area up here so that's what I'm debating at the minute I'm in no rush so stay tuned for part two